Hi everyone, I'm Casey Williams. I have to admit that I have a little bit of a soft spot for the Honda Civic. It was my very first test car back in July 1999. And 17 years ago seems like a long time, a lot of cars have come and gone. But that very first Honda Civic SI Coupe was really memorable. And over the years, you know, like the car Civic has really changed too. Generations come and go, some are more stylish than others. But the last generation was one that got a lot of criticism. Because it came after a generation that was really, really nice. It had the two-tier dashboard, digital dash, and very streamlined. And it really sent all the competitors back to the drawing board. But the last generation, I think it was a decent car. But it just, just seemed like it just wasn't quite up to par. Well, Honda went back to the drawing board one more time. And I can guarantee you the competitors will be scrambling yet again. Let's go have a look at the 2016 Honda Civic Coupe. I think my 13-year-old nephew got it right. When he came over to my house this weekend, saw the Civic, and he's like, whoa, what is that? And I tell him it's the Civic, and he goes, that's a lot sportier than I remember. And it is a lot sportier than you remember. And it really starts with the front of it, just a lot more aggressive front fascia. But you still know it's a Honda. I like the chrome bar across the front, that's kind of their trademark. But you got the fake air inlets down below. Again, just a lot more aggressive. Have the headlamps pinched in, their LEDs with the LED driving lamps. Again, I think this looks really nice. And come around the side and you start to look at the hood a little bit. There's a lot of curvature to the hood. I like the way it's kind of chiseled here with this ridge. And you kind of see that from behind the steering wheel. Again, it just feels like you're tucked down in the car and feels a lot sportier. 17 inch alloy wheels, four wheel disc brakes, you can see them through the wheels. And again, the side profile looks a little bit, looks a little bit like the old coupes, looks a little bit like the Acura, Acura sports cars as well. But I think for this car, I think it really does give it a lot more aggressive stance. And you come around the back, and this is where things really get different. I love this bat wing design on the back of it. it. Just looks so futuristic. A lot of people think it's electric or think it's a hybrid, but it's not, it's a gas car. But I think it looks very nice. I like the lower fascia as well, again. Just looks very sporty, very aggressive. And it's kind of a, and the, the trunk is kind of short this way, but it's also very deep and very wide. So you can get a lot of luggage space in here. Handles here, back seats flip down, and you can get some longer stuff in as well. So again, I think the car is a lot sportier, but it's also got a lot of luggage space in the back of it. Well, the powertrain has its pluses and minuses. So let's start with the pluses first. It's a one and a half liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, delivers 174 horsepower, you get 31 miles per gallon in the city, 41 miles per gallon on the highway. So plenty of power in a car this size, and really decent gas mileage as well. One of the minuses, it comes with a continuously variable transmission. Well, that helps you get the good gas mileage because you're always in the right gear ratio. But CVTs can sometimes be a little bit buzzy. You step on them, they sound like a high-powered weed eater sometimes. I think Honda does a pretty good job with theirs. But again, with the turbo and the little engine and the CVT, you kind of get used to the powertrain just a little bit. But one more plus side underneath, of the, underneath the body while we're talking about it is the chassis. It's firm, but when you go over bumps, it's the typical Honda feel. You just go bum, 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 bum. No squeaking, no rattling, no shaking, just feels very stable. And the coupe with the touring package is also very stiff, very responsive, and just really a lot of fun car to drive. And when I tell you the price tag in a few minutes, I think you'll see that it's really a lot of fun and excitement for that price. I think you'll find, especially if you remember the last generation Civic, that the interior of this car is vastly improved. And the last generation had this two-tier dash arrangement, lots of hard plastic, and it just wasn't very well executed. I think the Honda designers went back to the drawing board again and just came up with a total winner. First of all, it just feels a lot more expensive. Everything's padded. It feels more like an Accord in here than it does a Civic. You know, stitching here, you got stitching on the dash with the different colors. You know, the doors are even padded. Again, I think it's just very well done. And a lot of utility in the car. Deep cup holders here, deep console. You've got sliding drawers, more storage here. You've got storage underneath. And you actually plug the USBs in down below and feed them up to the top so your phone can rest right here. Again, just a lot of, just real easy things to use on the car. Nice thick leather wrapped steering wheel. Some of the technology on the car. It has an LCD speedometer and tachometer in the middle. Again, it gives you a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of the techn technology that you had in the old car. But I think, again, just better integrated and better executed. The touch screen here, um, you've got navigation, a 450 watt audio system. Again, you can plug in your Bluetooth, USBs that all connects. One of the downsides is you'll notice there's no tuning button, no volume button, so you're always having to do this with the do with your fingers. 
and it's and it's kind of nice. It works sort of like the Cadillac systems, where you can just scroll through by swipe, kind of like a, kind of like your iPad at home. So it works once you get used to it. It just takes a few minutes. Um, dual zone automatic climate control, and on the safety front, it's got the forward collision alert system. It's got adaptive cruise control. You've got lane keep assist. Again, just some nice things to keep you safe on the highway. But overall, you know, it's a very well executed interior. It's very comfortable. It's easy getting out of it. You've actually got a little bit of space in the back seats, and the heated leather seats will keep you nice in the winter time. Driving the Civic Coupe this week brought back some really fond memories. I think about 17 years ago when we drove that Civic Coupe SI. But there's been so much consistency over the years with the Civics. You know, they always seem just very well built. They're fun to drive. They're very efficient, very economical. And they just seem like they're just better put together than a lot of their competitors over the years. And when people come to me and say, what do I buy my high school student? I always, almost always tell them to buy a Honda, a Honda Civic because they just have a reputation for lasting a very long time. But over that time, you know, the cars have become stylish and not sportier. And I think this one's a great example of it. This is a car you want to drive and want to own because you like owning it. It's well equipped. It's got all the safety gear on it. You've got the heated leather seats. You've got plenty of power. And it just brings so much to the table that it didn't used to have before. And compared to previous generations, I think this really is a lot more exciting car. Well, and, and let's talk about price for just a second. So this car starts just over $19,000, the Civic Coupe. This one, as equipped, is $20, $27,321. Again, the price has gone up, but it's got a lot more stuff on it, too. And you can still get one that's very affordable if you choose. Next week, we'll have another fun car. And until then, storm forward. <laughs>